Hello, welcome to variables in Python. Today we'll be going over um, variables in Python, how to use them, um, why they're so important, and also how to print them very simply. Um, variables are really a key concept in all programming languages. Understanding how variables work and being able to use them efficiently will make you a much better um, computer programmer. So as you're watching this video, please have your learning log open up so you can take notes and so that you can follow instructions when needed. Um, the first thing I want you to do, if you need to pause the video, that's fine, I'm gonna go ahead, but please write down five variables in your life right now. So for an example, uh, you can use this one as one of your five, and a uh, variable in all of our lives is the weather, okay? It's never, it's never the same, especially in Utah, you never know what you're gonna get. Um, it all, temperature is always changing constantly throughout the day. Um, the sky, cloud cover, different things like that. That's always changing. So that's an example of a variable. So write down four other variables uh, that you see in your life before you move on. So a very, very simple example of variables are listed here below. Uh, a variable definition is a variable is a storage location paired with a name. Okay, so right here character name okay that that's where the the value of stormbreaker is stored into okay when we have this set up this way character name is now basically the same as stormbreaker okay same thing here the blue is the variable the purple is the storage or the value of that we're trying to store inside the variable so when we do this, the variable is now able to be used as that variable, as the value that is being stored, okay? So let's look at some more examples and we'll get back into this a little bit later, but this is, this is the goal, this is what we're trying to do, being able to use as a programming tool. So I don't know if you guys have ever felt this way in, in math class, but um, just a darn minute, teacher. Yesterday you said that x equals two. Um, and that's exactly what a variable is. It's, it's able to switch um, values if needed, and it stores data, okay? Uh, so in, you've probably seen this a lot in your life already, just a very simple algebra problem. You have 9x plus 3 equals 21, and this is how you solve it. So in this, in this math equation, math formula, x is equal to 2, okay? But you look at a different one, x is equal to three. So x is the variable and two is what is being stored for this problem. So if we plug two back in up here at the top, two, time, two times nine equals 18 plus three equals 21. That's what the variable x is equal to in this case. You go to another case, it can equal something completely different. And also there is very complex algebra and programming where we use variables, but we won't get into this kind of stuff till later. So this is a little bit more complex, and some of you might have might be wondering why we do something like this. When how is it ever going to apply? Um, a very simple, basic one that we use a lot in business in the business world is solving for uh, break-even analysis. So if you're going to start a business, um, and let's say you're going to sell your um, your product for five dollars, let's say you're selling a meal. So you're selling a hamburger, chips, and a drink for five dollars. Well, all of that, all of that food that you're selling, costs you two dollars and fifty cents. So if you take five x minus two point five x, two point five x after you do that, that would be how much money you're making per per meal that you make or sell. Okay, and then you also have the cost of renting a spot for $150 a day and you're trying to make you're trying to earn $2000. So using algebra in this equation, we could figure out how many hamburgers x, the variable x, how many hamburgers we have to sell to earn $2000. Okay? Here's another example of how variables are used. Um, each of these different symbols 
apple, banana, and coconut, each of those are equal to uh, a different value. Okay, so in your, in your notes, I want you to take a minute, go and pause the video if you need to, but I want you to figure out what each, each variable is worth. So I'll help you with the first one. We know that apple plus apple plus apple equals 30. So it's basically one, two, three, x x being the variable or apple so you have 3x equals 30 divide by 3 divide by 3 30 divided by 3 is 10 so 10 plus 10 plus 10 would give you 30 so there's apple using that same deductive reasoning in algebra I want you to figure out what the apple banana and coconut go ahead and pause the video if you need to again Whatever the variable is, whether it's banana, coconut, or whatever it is, it's just storing numeric or text values. Okay, here's a little more complex one. It starts off the same, but then we get a little bit different here. Okay, so again, you're, you're go ahead and pause the video whenever you need to, but you're trying to figure out what this solves, okay? Um, here, though, I threw in a little bit different curveball to you. After this line is over, apple is now equal to 5. Even though we started up above that apple is equal to 10, after this line, apple is now equal to, to 5. No matter what happens afterwards, apple is equal to 5 at this line. Okay. So banana is still the same of whatever you had up above. So you would take whatever banana was times apple, which is now times five, and that would give you your answer. So we're looking for this answer as well as an this answer. Right here, I also changed the value of banana to help you figure out coconut. So coconut is also getting a new value. So at the end, down here, coconut, banana, and apple all have a different value than what we started with. Okay, so I'll go ahead and give you a second to do that. Go ahead and pause your video. Um, once you do that, we can move on. You can go ahead and restart the video. Okay, so uh, in my class, I have people turn to their neighbor and um, talk about with them what are some phrases that are, are variables. If you want to go ahead and pause the video and think about it, what are some phrases that we use in our in our day-to-day -day work and lives that maybe we didn't that wasn't around five or ten years ago do you think of any okay well here are some examples that I hear teenagers saying today okay spill the tea okay that if you said spill the tea five years ago somebody would be like what the heck are you talking about it didn't have a value it didn't really didn't mean anything I mean you'd be like who drinks tea nowadays you know not many people drink tea Go get the bread. If someone said that, or let's go get the bread. I'm not sure how you, how they say it, but that's that would be like you want me to go to the store and get bread. But that nowadays means let's go win this or let's let's do it. You know, um, she is being salty today. If you would have said that 10 years ago when I was in high school, would have made zero sense. So sometimes even phrases get different values or different words mean different things depending on how society is using them. So also, also another way, I mean, pictures. Pictures are really variables. Um, when you look at a picture, you might not know who those two characters are from TV shows, so they might not mean anything to you. But if you do know those TV shows, you know exactly who they are and why this formula, this, va this variable plus this variables, variable equals break your back funny. So just something to think about as you're going about your life is what variables can mean what they can be used for. I'm in my class. We now play an, an, uh, an activity called play green light, red lights, uh, depending on what you want to 